be in OSAC. Hopefully, I didn't check actually, which is a bit stupid. Hello. Good day, mate. How's it going? We just uh, didn't check whether it was working on the Elgato, which could be <laughs> could be a slight problem if it's not. Okay, we're good. We're good. Woo. Let me pause that a minute because of voice. I'm going to hear myself repeating, which is not good. How's tricks, all right? I'll try some MSX stuff out, I think. Got a new MSX uh, image freshly uh, downloaded and chucked on you. Yeah? So let's give it a try. Um, the computer. It's two different MSX cores though, so you gotta just use the one chip core. And try this new image out. Apparently, it's got loads of new games in it and translations, which is pretty nice. So once this loads in, right, I called it new games. May need a keyboard for this as well. Probably will need a keyboard actually. Let's have a look what we got. Ooh, different. Be interested to see if some of the games I downloaded previous, which wouldn't work, I put in the image myself, actually work on this one. Evening Bean. Let's have a look then. What have we got? If we go back. So we've got MSX1, MSX2, and then we've got the text files of all the games. Yep. OD Dean. Free in the room already. Fantastic. That's the way. Welcome one more quarter as well. I did say welcome earlier, but I'm going to try Tina's Adventure Island, which doesn't work on when I tried it. So let's give it a go. Um, interesting if this works, because I could not get this running at all before. It does work on the other MXS, uh, MSX core. Yeah, not working. It's a shame. It doesn't work on the... Um, when I put it on there either. It's got to be an easier way of going back other than resetting. Sure. I did find a way of going back once. Oh well, let's just load in. What do we play? I should have a look at the list of games actually. The other MX, uh, um, MSX core is uh, faster. I'm okay, thanks, buddy. You can actually just load the games. You don't have to go through zip files or anything. Be good when the other core comes uh, up and running. It'll make um, running the MSX a lot easier. Let's go to MSX2 then. Apparently there's lots of translations on you as well. So let's do... What have we got then? Donna's hang um, hang up demo. Apparently it's got loads of new games on you. Rambo 2, which is not original. Let's see if that works. This Manbo. I'm pretty damn sure this is not an official ROM.
Cool. Yep. Can't fall a bit of gaming on a Sunday. Got to be done. I haven't actually really given this a good go yet. I think this is pretty much like a fan-made version. Sporty SCC sound chip, though, which is quite nice. Okay, that's, that's looking promising. Ah, uh, Moonrider. Don't think I like it as much as Blazing Chrome either, but I need to play more, if you know what I mean. I bought it, I just haven't actually properly got into it. It seemed pretty good from what I was playing it. Does it work? That's the question. Music's up nice, eh? Alright, oh, okay, those rocks kill you. <laughs> good start, day. Eh? good start. There you go. My headset's cutting out, I don't know about you guys. Whether it's my headset or the game, let me know. Mm. Oh, I have you know when that my headset seems to cut out. Okay, that thing's following me. I was saying he's a river being the ass, isn't he? You got Dean, you got Moonride on the PS5, is it? Or the PS4? Come on, mate, take yourself out. any um the pod weapons yet which is weird just normal weapon power-ups oh that's cool it opens up and gets wider I know the uh, race is on, isn't it? Maximum credits up, maximum lives up. Okay, let's go lives. Select a weapon. Uh, red power. Option. It's weird, you got to select weapons after a stage. Okay. This 
think got a shield around it. Where's my weapon then I picked up? I'm pretty sure I'm just not in there, am I? Okay. Oh. Yeah, blazing chrome's nice. I've not finished it though, I, I, I should go back and. I buy all these bleak games as I end up bloody finishing them. Am I actually hitting this thing? Okay, you can shoot that. Am I actually hitting it? Ten now in a second. I feel I'm not doing any damage to this thing at all. What the hell? Press a button on the keyboard and change weapons now. Uh, okay, I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea what's going on. Instantly had this like shield around it. I'll move somewhere else now and see if there's anything else. I would go past that thing, but it's gonna fire in it. I said, I, I thought as soon as I go in front of it, it'd fire. Okay, let me resync my headset a second. Hang on, I think I might know where it's cutting off. My TV is flicking. It does not like the sync on this game. Right. Am I back? Because I can't hear anything. Hang on, one sec. One sec, let me just check. I can hear me. Yep, you can hear me. Cool. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's not my headset, it's the TV. 
TV's flicking on and off. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, go for red power then. I know, as soon as I get in front of it, I die straight away. <laughs> oh, hang on. Why am I on a different level? Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it. My TV does not like the sink. We'll go with it though. Yeah, maybe you're not supposed to kill that thing. They look like little dildos of uh, things. Ah, oh. oh, you can change the direction. I'll have to change the compatibility mode, I think. speed. What's the music like in this anyway? Because I'm just getting bits of it. Quite well, this does. Even though I don't know what the hell is going on with that boss, I think you are definitely you're not supposed to beat it. Perhaps you fight it later on when you get more powered up. Far down. Ah. Yeah, I sent you a link as well, Dean, to um, Mikado. But yeah, I played quite a lot of um, Exa games, more than I thought, actually. I played four player on uh, P47 as well. Subbed. Yeah, I said I, I searched for Exa and they come up with a load of stuff. There's a few other games mixed in with it, but uh, there's a lot of Exa videos in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch the Mr. to compatibility mode a minute because it does not like that. I might need to switch it back, so I'll just forget to switch it back. Off. No, the extra one frame, you know, of input delay really is noticeable, to be honest. <laughs> Let's try again. Yep. 
Yeah, I wonder what they've done to the EXA version. Yeah, that's what's cool. I think the Princess Madeline is um, probably worth picking up as well. From what I've seen of it uh, on the Mikado channel, it looks really good. It looks completely different to the home version. It, lo it looks more more like Ghouls and Ghosts, if you know what I mean. Right, hopefully... I'll get sound this time. Well, okay. Yeah, hopefully they've sorted out the slight screen snapback. They did fix it in the um, the Dreamcast release. So I still haven't opened that, actually. I had that and Izzy's something. I bought both of them. I still haven't actually un unwrapped them and tried it. Yeah, it, it looked like a completely different game. Like I've got the I've got the PC one, and the PC one's not bad. And the, the Switch version probably is better because I think it's a little bit more refined. But uh, yeah, the the other one just looks completely different. Right, I guess you're gonna die on that boss that comes up that big one. You're not opposed to uh, to beat it. Right. Okay. Oh, Bean, I tried um, unlocking Dodon Apache as well. The software you need to run uh, will not recognize any of my drives on Windows 11. So I can't patch it. Right. And hopefully the music will stay on. Yeah, it is. Nice. That's better. <laughs> I put a few extra games on the Xbox as well. I knew one or two, nothing. I think it was an extra four. There's some weird fighting game called something like Og Ogan. Ogan Musu Keo Keokai. Oh, you can't kill him. Those enemies all stick slightly above above you, so they're a bit tricky to kill. I'm guessing I can die if I hit that. Right, that's better. Oh my god. They're a bit crazy, aren't they? put Phantom Breaker on there as well, but I think you may have put it on there. Phantom Breaker EX. And um, Elfin something, uh, Xbox Live Arcade game. It's like a over t sort of over top looking sort of like action adventure. Look quite decent. And the Instabrain. Be asked finding my, uh, my original indemnity. Yeah, 
Evening. How's it going, bud? All right. I'm not going to get that speed. How's tricks? How's that uh, second run through of uh, this evil village treating you? Cool. I enjoyed that village, I gotta admit. Really enjoyed it. Macrons do lives like I did last time, and this time I'll do. It didn't seem to matter though for some reason, unless I'm pressing the wrong button, of course. Right, so you can't kill this thing. All ah, right, the fish guy. Nice, you got quite got out with the castle then. Right, so I'm going to purposely crash. Let's see if it goes to the next level. No, we don't. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm confused. How do I go to the next level? Okay. I have no idea how this works then. Might be just supposed to dodge us until that big attack turns up. I'll have to whip out shadow guns and um, that uh, other game I bought and actually stream on one night. Be an excuse to open them. I don't get that. So why are you supposed to survive then into the big attack and then you go to the next level? That's pretty odd. Um. Okay, let's give it one more go. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Like, th there's no explanation why either, is it? Just randomly come across something that you you can't kill. And it, it literally does look like you've got to dodge it for ages. Strange. And the game doesn't really give you any power-ups either. I'm only changing my power levels. Till after you sort of get past that bit. So I don't know.
I like the original um, Space Bamboos class. Like, I don't think you've got to get powered up to fight, eh? Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked our speed up, oh well. Because my power levels are like, going up, but they're going back down as well, so... I'm not going to get that, I'm going to die if I try it. Goes like sort of semi white screen. It's pretty funky. Right, here we go then. Excited. I was never really into the Horizon games, but I did enjoy the. Um, the third one in, in Australia, and I enjoyed the one in U UK as well. And the, the new one's good. I played it quite a bit. The only problem is there's no, there's literally like no end to them. That's the only snag, I suppose. So once I get a new hard drive, I'll put it back on my PC. A card to the bone, I've got a rule. Guns will turn towards me at some point. Right, this is where I got to last time, didn't I? Nothing started spinning. Doing now. This is the point I got killed on because I tried to get in front of it. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so it fires straight away as soon as you get in front of it. Right, do I go to the next level now? Huh? Now I'm confused. Oh, I did do it. Eh? Ooh. Ah, right. Yeah, I'm after the Corsair ones. I want to get two, I do. I don't get what's going on in this boss. Seems uh, a little bit off, doesn't it, when you play a shooting weapon, you don't quite get what's going on. <laughs> I 
Okay. I'll try and get killed by the middle beam this time and see what happens. Odd way of making a shmup, I'll give you that. So that's just gonna stay there spinning. Doing this thing for ages and ages. Okay, let's just get killed by it then. You have gotta get killed by the middle bit. Uh, you know. This is the MSX. It's um, it's a fan made, as far as I know, Space Mambo Two. Because as far as I know, Konami only made the first one, so this is like a fan made version. Yeah, two terabyte would be nice. Hawkwind. I do like the MSX. That new MSX core would be good, mind. Once I get that fully up and running. So I'll play stuff that this doesn't. Apparently this is a one-chip MSX. It's a core of the one-chip version. I don't even know what the one-chip version is, but... So this 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 core essentially it is an MSX, but it's it's not a full MSX apparently. It runs good though, as for an MSX, it runs better than the emulators. The other core boots up like a proper MSX as well, so you get to like a dashboard or whatever, like a DOS screen, where this version doesn't, there is no DOS screen essentially. I don't want that actually. See, the other one, you don't need to have the hard drive images either. You can just load games directly.
and don't see him on the wall then. Oh god, now I'm back, isn't I? Ooh, that was lucky. Ooh. Yeah, it does look like you got a data ship, but in, in Pacific Way, by the look of it. Right, I haven't got a huge amount of speed, so. Hot looking boss. Probably a bad idea. I've killed the worm. Option. Can I press a? Can't press spacebar to do that. Then doesn't seem to give you anything when you select it, though. Okay. Oh no, that's like gradius. I wonder if you could hit that. <laughs> Our music sounds very familiar. So, do you know what that sounds like? The uh, Contra. Contra first level two. It's slightly changed. Right, is that whatever that is sticking up there gonna blow up? Oh no, of course it's, it's a ah oh, a moon ass. I still set the contra music. <laughs> Sucks not having speed. That is the contribution. It's not just me, is it? That is Contra. I can't kill them things. Oh my god, they get they bounce around everywhere. Oh dear. They're a bit of a pain to dodge. They follow you around as well. Okay, let's try something else then. See what other joys we have in this. If not, we'll have a go at Tina's Adventure Island. Because it does work on the other core. Oh. 
Wait, what else we got then? Mappy. It's not going to be sure I can find anything that's uh, reasonably new. Hot B. One more monster. I think we played that before. Magical Tower Adventure. Go on, let's give that a go. No idea what this is. It's uh, small or whatever it is. Okay. Ooh, spectrum. Used white warrior. Use the yellow key. What happens if I? Okay. So we're auto fights. Can't break them. No. Please leave now. This is your final warning. Uh, I'm having all the keys and your strawberries. I use fire to access the book and monsters will help you. Okay. Can you go back? You can. Mm. They're gonna attack me as soon as I go down? No. Can't open green doors. Um okay, so I gotta open yellow doors. God, that guy's solid. Am I going to kill him? Okay, that guy's rock hard. Don't want to mess with them. Um. Ooh, what's that a bit? I'll go blue key. Ah, there's a blue key in there, but I've got to fight that thing to get it. Oh my god, this HP is huge. It's wonderful, that is. Right, let's try again then. So, let's at least give it a decent go. <laughs> right, keep our key. Okay, strawberries give you a good nice bit of energy as well. Um, what is that thing in the top corner then? Kill a snake. Attack goes up by one point, right? Okay. Do some music, it's good, can it? Right, so I still got that blue key so I can get that one up the top.
That goes up by one. Defense goes up by one. Um, okay, that guy in the top corner had... Uh, hang on, the exit over here. Could do with some strawberries. Uh, oh god, that's a nightmare to get to. I'd have to go up the top, down, through. <sighs> I don't think I can survive, eh? Right, how hard is this guy? Oh, he's solid. Oh, I can't move. Oh god, that guy's solid. Okay. All right, there. I've only got one key. Definitely needs some music. So basically, you've got to find a route through this then, I guess. Okay, um, where's best to go now? Okay, let's go this way. Come on. Um, if I attempt that, don't know if it's worth it. It might be. Let's do it. Yeah, he's hard. Ooh, okay. Now I'm low on energy again. Um, this must keys a lot of. Now I'm in trouble, basically. Those yellow guys are solid. Uh, okay. There's no engine on this bit either, is there? Ooh, there's a sword. I gotta go for the sword. And I got one key as well. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So I go for the keys. Let's go for the keys. Oh, that killed him a lot faster. I can't go in there. Got no key. Okay. There's the exit. Hey, NG. Okay, let's have a look on the next screen then. As long as I don't touch him. Uh... Oh, God, that's a lot of things to kill. Not much energy to kill him. This is solid. How many keys I got? Three. Okay, so now we've got five keys. I could open that. I may as well because I pick up another key. more energy, not much mind. Uh, okay. So 
skeleton. It's got some food behind him. And some extra keys. Any big food? Ah, it's big food by there. I'm not going to survive it. I don't think I'm going to survive killing that thing, especially the yellow one. I'm definitely not going to survive killing that. Let's go back in. I'm into it. <laughs> um. Okay, there's a purple one by there. I don't want to fight a purple one. Good one's hard. I'm gonna go for the extra key. I'm not gonna fight. Then again, I might do. I think I kill them easy. Okay, cool. They're nice and easy to kill. Um. Still, I'm gonna blue key. Look at all that. Look at all the strawberries down here. That'd be so nice. Big strawberry, I'm going to have to go for it. That was worth it. Actually, I'm going to go for this one because I don't have to attack that. Um, I wonder. This is risky. Oh, actually, I can kill him pretty quick. Right, okay. Do I risk it? Oh, actually, they're not too bad to kill now we've got that sword. Okay, cool. Again, tell me. Not very good in NG though. Still need a blue key. And he just tells me, if you want to continue, use fire to access the book and monsters that will help you. Um, okay. Let's go for the extra. I'm gonna go for that blue key. You know what? I actually quite like it. <laughs> I didn't think so. At first, I didn't think this was going to be any good. Okay, so I haven't got a green key. Box. Ah. Is there a green key? Do I need? Ah, oh, I want those sweet strawberries, or oh, tomatoes, or whatever they are. Okay, okay. We I mean, got one yellow key. It's not great. <sighs> I might have to risk it killing this thing up here then. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. They're still hard. <sighs> well, I'll never go now. Oh, come on, one more. Right, there's got to be an optimal route through this game, haven't they? So I need to get that sword first. The sword makes a big difference. Right, keep the blue key. I want to get one because it's no good to me going through there anyway. Okay. 
Right, okay, cool. Um, okay, so I have to go over here. And go for that sword. Okay. Right, I got much better energy this time. Right, here we go. Go the sword. I should make killing these a lot quicker. Okay. There's a power up energy down there, but. And she's going down slowly. I'll get the keys. Right, okay. So am I going to be good enough to do anything in here? That yellow guy is going to kick my ass if I try attacking him. Okay, I reckon I go back. I reckon I go back and get those little extra power-ups right at the beginning. Now I've tooled up a little bit. So use the blue key to get these. I'll help. Um, I wonder what the green guy does though. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this build one out. He's got the extra attack power. Um. Okay. There's a power up over there, but there's a purple guy. Actually, I'm gonna do it. I've got no keys. Shit. Oh, I had keys. Where am I gonna get a key? They must be able to get a key, because otherwise I'm screwed. Yeah, that was good. Ah. I'm shafted, I haven't got a key. Uh, okay. Okay, You're not much good to me. Give me a key, that'd be nice. Keep it there. Ooh, what is that? Is that a monster or is that armor? I can't tell. Right, okay, I got a key. I'm going to have to be cunning with this key. So if I open that door and kill our skeleton, I can get two keys and a bit of energy. Okay. This is sad. Then if I go back down here, if I open this door, I can get two keys off this guy. Um, don't want to fight that yellow guy yet though. Actually, if I fight him, and go up, kill this, get the attack power that goes up a bit. Oh, I didn't... Actually, I didn't want to. Uh, okay. So one key. I need to be careful how I use this one key. Okay, I'm going in here and get two keys. So 
If I kill that one, I get a blue key going and I'm going to go for it. Okay. Okay, so I got four keys now. Um, I'm going to go for the key in the power up. Get into me, I think. Right, so I can use the blue key, but I can't get past those green doors or whatever they are. I'm going for that power up up here as well. Two keys. Right, okay, that was worth it. There's a lot of energy in there, isn't it? could try taking on that one now actually if i go down if i take him out right i'm gonna try it oh i can take him out pretty easy now okay so i've cleared the first screen essentially i leave those ones i don't need to kill him Uh, actually, I'm going to kill this one because I should end up with a lot more NG. Okay, cool. And I'll do the same on this one. I'm tempted to go and kill that yellow guy over there. I am actually. He's got a big power, he's got a big uh, motto or whatever it is by him as well. What's this one saying now then? Some doors can be opened with a key. They might be opened by killing monsters. Alright, okay. So you can open some doors by killing monsters. Which ones though? Gotta be quite uh, tactical on this. Right, so I am going to go for that. I'm not going to kill him, so I don't need to kill him, so I'm not going to bother. Right, okay. I want to know what that thing is. It looks like armour, doesn't it, or something. Let's go and find out. Takes 50 gold coins for a blue key. Okay. So there's a power up in there. Actually, I'm going to go for it. It's not a power up as such, it's an armor. Okay, so that's a merchant, that thing, then. I'm going to have to kill this guy now, because I need the keys. That's a merchant up there then, so he's going to give me something if I can go up there. Do I waste a blue key on it, though? That's the question. Um, Actually, I'm going to go down here. I should end up with more NG. Nice, that worked. Five gold. Oh, okay, that'll do. I'll go with that. Do I take the hard route or the easy route? Let's go the easy route. Oof. Now we're getting there. What have we got now, then? So two doors that way, and I can go up to a next level. But there's a shitload of keys around here. I need to spend three keys to get three keys. Okay, oh, it's a red keeper there. 
Ah, tem uma lua. Actually, this key there. Right, I'm gonna go down and get three keys. What else is in here? This is one of those green doors there as well. Ah, oh, look at those power up and keys down the bottom. How easy is that gonna be to get to? Um That's gonna be worth it. Hmm. So there's two keys down there. There's three keys. Ah, oh, damn, I need to keep that blue key for you, isn't I? Shit. Snitzels. Oh, man. Actually, how many keys I got? Let's do it. Let's go the long way then. Um. Oh, what's that? Is that a shield? Oh, that looks quite hard to get to as well. Um. Okay, I'm going to go for that shield. Shield up, nice. Um, right, I need to get down here to get to the next level. Let me go. I'm gonna have to go wrong because I haven't got a blue key. I don't want to fight all them things, that's the only problem. Now I'm low on energy. Slowly getting worn down by here. Um, how many keys I got? Two keys. So if I can get two keys, I can get... I don't want to fight that guy in the middle. <sighs> got a funny feeling. I'm not going to be able to get up here, am I? Okay, I need to get more keys somehow. Um, so if I work my way down there, there's a blue... I need two keys to get in there though. Shit. Might be stuffed here. I might be knackered on keys. Oh, I think I am as well. Nice keys there as well. Eh? Right, so I'm screwed, I think. Unless I can go and see that merchant, he'll give me some more, he'll sell me some keys maybe. Right, where was the other merchant? Will he give me keys? Or does he just tell me? 
Yeah, me give you for money, okay. Yeah, I'm knackered. Oh, I can't do it either. Okay, I can get one key. I can sacrifice one key for one key. Yeah, I'm knackered. Um hmm. I can't even get open the door and get one key now. I think I've knackered myself. I've got a red key. I've only got one yellow key. think this could be game over. <laughs> Some people might be quite happy with that. <laughs> City haven't got a green key. Uh, okay. It definitely does need some music. It's not bad, though. I quite like it. Cheap as it actually looks, it is... It looks like you've got to... You've got to suss it out to definitely get through it, like. I can't even get in there, anyway. But yeah, you're right. It definitely needs music. It's definitely got that um, spectrum uh, static as well, haven't it? Nope, nobody's going to give me a key. I'm not going to get keys from monsters either, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. I believe I'm one key short. <laughs> oh well, we should go this way. Yep, I'm not good. Stay. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Um, okay, let's have a go with the other MSX call. Do. Right, you can't take the scan lines off this one, I don't think, either, because it uh, literally. I don't think you can. I just can't take it all back. This one is the new core. And it's more like a proper MSX, as you can see. So I've got a load of games on you. Try to think, well, uh, Dynamite Go-Go. That's really good, that is. So cool, I haven't played that for ages. See if it works. See if this one works. No. Okay, that don't work. This cause is like a little bit hit and miss at the moment. Uh, 
have a look what else got great. Some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. King's Valley 2, that's that's a good game. Puzzle game. Uh, Ninja Princess. Rastan. It's pretty good on the uh, MSX actually. Okay, don't know what that is. Will it work? And no. Sometimes I find if you change the uh, ROM setup, this is not looking promising. Nothing's working. Why ain't anything working? No Tina's Adventure Island works. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Does it? Ah, oh, it's password, right? Okay. Shit, I'll get it with this now. Do, 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 do. Reset then. This is quite good. Scroll's terrible, mate, but it's quite good. We want to play this properly for ages. Do, do, do. Okay, noise, but. I'm not getting the old hobnobs in you. <laughs> That's the way. Yeah, this does come down as part of the um, update all. Go stab you now. This does run on the MSX2 as well, it's probably smoother on me. Concentrate in the background's the best bet. Oh, knifey. There is a point in collecting the money as well. Buy stuff you can. Upgrades with the cash. made this um with Stanley on cartridge as well. It's cool that the uh, eventually sort of give it away free. This doesn't work on the other core. But it works in an emulator. Nice couple for men. Coins. What can I buy? I'll go yes. Um, that's quite a good weapon, actually. I'll go buy that. I'll have that. What's that do then? Okay, we'll buy the salt pot. I don't know what it does. Change weapon by pulling down. Do, 
do, do, do. It's weird, even with the incredibly janky scrolling. But MSX games play really well. Maybe I'll be it. It's like the background moves at like 5 frames a second, but the, uh, the characters and uh, the gameplay is like 60. Have I got 14? How much is that? No. Okay, I have to save my cash, I think. This would be a lot nicer if it scrolled better than I don't have to admit. <laughs> At least it's a constant judder. Sometimes after those films you go the guy who comes runs behind him. I just add him in. <sighs> oh god, just about managed to get over that bit. Can't hang around for too long. At least restarting the level gives you keep your coins. I got with the scrolling list to my tree in a bit, mind. goes down really fast. Together then. Mm, I got a field day in the shop. Flying one video now. Okay. 
Are you back? Nice. Wonder if there's any uh, extra stuff you can do to this. You do more down to see aspect ratio, scanline, scale, no. Right. No, we've already got stone axes. Alright, we'll have that. What is that? I want some milk. Okay, I don't know what it does. What's that? A fish hat. Yeah, I'll have a fish hat. Definitely we'll have, we'll have some of that. Okay. Okay, fully loaded, whatever we're loaded with. Uh, I wonder if the fish hat allows you to move faster underwater. any bosses on this. Okay, now it's gonna get harder. I drank all my bottles inside the essay, unfortunately. We're on the water. And soon I'll have to get a wagon wheel now we're talking about chocolate biscuits. I've got one left. It's in the fridge as well. Damn, I could have done my banana. Damn, I haven't got much energy. Be nice to have a bottle, but um, <laughs> do, 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 do. let's go for the energy again. Eh?
if she can kill the clout. Um. Yeah, that mod with the Joy Cons um, is good then. So it, it looks a decent mod. I think I'll have to. I'll have to do what I think. I say the sticks on mine. They're fine, there's no drift on them or anything. Wouldn't hurt to change them out for brand new sticks, mind. might do. I suppose seeing as you're opening it up for a tenner, you may as well change the sticks as well. No, not particularly, no. I don't have to, because they, they, they are fine, the ones I've got. There's no drift or anything. So I suppose essentially I could save a tenner and not do it. Not sure. We'll 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 see on that one. I think. Putting the D-pad on it. Oh, okay. Got you, Felix. So, I waiting on the air link. It's good, a good idea to wait for that. Nice. Yeah, that's fair enough. As long, as long as you, as long as you unplug the um, the the problem with the other ones apart from the air link is the extra power. If you unplug the JVS power supply. Um, that's the one that basically can cause problems if you're over a hundred volts. So you could just unplug the um, the JVS and the monitor and stuff. You should be perfectly fine with a normal a normal step down. Should no problems at all. Because the monitor should be able to do. I think they can do two forty as well. So I would uh, I'd unplug the JVS if you're not using it. It's only basically one one plug to pull out. <laughs> But yeah, congratulations, you got it. Is it looking, uh, is it looking sweet? All right, I'll write that password down. Hang on. Actually, if I can write it down, take a picture. Of 
Where did you get it? Yeah, mine's got fast IO as well. Ah, right, okay. Are you... You said you're going to use a PlayStation on it, was it? You're not going to use any arcade hardware or anything, is it? Oh, you got it Friday. Well, wow, cool. I know that that transition away. You sat there and you've got it, and you can't use it as a killer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was a good idea to do with the cleaning. Some of them turned up stinking, didn't they? Luckily, mine was pretty damn clean. I literally I bought a load of stuff to clean it, and then when it turned up, I I started cleaning. I was like, oh, it's never coming off it. It was literally just dusty, and there wasn't much of that in there, to be honest. It was it was pretty clean. But yeah, it's a good idea. Lucky mine didn't smell of cigarettes either. Which is quite nice. Yeah. Well okay. Yeah, a lot of the type X free stuff you can you can play on the PlayStation anyway, can't you? So ooh, okay. Play us for a bit longer. I was just always thinking of Type X, but you say at least you know you got the option, haven't you? Link took. I, mine was a bit getting. They uh, they delivered. Um, they took about uh, two weeks to get the uh, power supply off him, and I had it. I uh, plugged it in the cab. It worked for about forty minutes and blew it. And it, it didn't blow the um, the, the self-fixing fuse either. It actually blew the power supply. I had to ring him up and explain. And they were like, "Oh, I can't believe he's done that." I was like, "Yeah." And they, they, good enough though, they sent me out um, another power supply straight away. Unusual for him to blow as well. Yeah, that is. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, I was super unlucky that was. Like, it actually blew it within, uh, literally within, like, um, it was about 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so, it lasted. But lucky enough, they, they even though I'd waited almost like two weeks they replaced it instantly they uh, i sent it off and i had it back within like three days i think it was so at least there's that when it comes to um fixing stuff of theirs they, they're pretty good This jump is going to be tricky. Oh, I had to jump right off the edge. What power air link? When did you go for what voltage? be honest as long as you're not running uh, you know high powered arcade boards in it you get a wave of 250 no no problems probably wouldn't even use that to be honest I run up by the NG can be excited times when you get your power supply though Can't hang around too long on it.
Oh, you bossed it. I knew I was going to... Yeah, I went for the 500 as well, just to make sure. At least you know with the 500, if you're going to plug, if you're going to get a Type X and put that in there, you're covered basically. They recommend it about 290 watt, but that's with, you know, with like a full Type X system, uh, everything, all the lights on and all that type of stuff. So. But say if you're not running a Type X in there, you could get away with the um, the 250. No worries. Yeah, I know. I think Dean's cost me an arm and a leg as well, to be honest. <laughs> his, um, his peer pressure is strong. That's all I can say. It's all worth it. Well, definitely worth it, though. <laughs> I think we, I, I think we have to be honest because uh, they're getting more expensive, aren't they? No, I think they're just going to get more and more. But it's just costing more to get them imported from Japan as well, aren't they? So. And uh, Tato are no longer making them anymore either. So what's what's out there now is literally it. I thought about some of the other ones, like the Noir Cab. I prefer the Vulix, so I think the Vulix does actually look nicer. But the only problem with the Noir Cab is you can't they, you can't take the control panel off. I was going to ask as well. How did uh, do you manage okay getting into your uh, flat after? So as long as you have that lift, you should be good, I reckon. They do roll quite nice on a um, hard surface. Yeah, I, I wanted a Vulix anyway. I just at the time I, I couldn't get older of Vulix, and I was thinking, do I get an OR car? But uh, lucky I didn't because you can't take the control button off. Yeah, that's cool. So I was looking at the, the um, you got the Sega Limburg ones. I'm not sure whether the panel comes off them either, because they're very much like a Noir cab. Yeah, you got a diamond blue, haven't you? Diamond blue's nice. If I was going to get another one, I'd love to get a diamond orange. I think a diamond orange would be pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they're going to get any cheaper. And Oh, okay, we've got uh, ice physics. And with an arcade cab as well, it's something you're going to keep for years and years, isn't it? You, know, you can get a lot of use out of it. With the fact that you can check your consoles and everything into it. Oh well, I'll go new. We want to continue on that one. So I'll go with something that scrolls alright. Let's <laughs> do my day in a bit. Uh, okay. 
tend to like doing computer games on a uh, Sunday for some reason. Let's go with the unstable one. Yeah, they're all nice looking in their own ways, aren't they? That's the, that's the only thing. Yeah, have yeah that that'd be a that's like the ultimate setup, and a one vertical, one horizontal. That would be the biz. I I couldn't fit another one in you. I I would love a Capcom cute as well, or um an Aero City, but I ain't got the room for one. The Aero Cities, even though they're smaller than the Vulex and the, the Astro Cities, they're just as heavy. Yeah, same here. All right, what is this? This was already loaded. Okay. Uh, attack mode. This must have been the game it didn't load last time, but it works now. I remember this when you swap between high and low speed all the time. Looks quite cool. Shy and chucking stuff out too fast. Ooh, bugger. Uh, that's taken off by the um, soldier blade. Uh, so you put it this way, I don't regret getting my Vivix. I did actually, to be honest. Titan game, man. Yeah, the the seven twenty p if the seven twenty p mod it looks really nice. So and like all the all the arcades in Japan they're either seven twenty p or ten eighty p anyway. So I'm pretty sure the one in the diamond blue is is a seven twenty, I believe. Could be wrong, mate, but you can find out. If you go on to um, if you go onto the X's web page, they've got an input lag uh, section, and it tells you all the Japanese uh, 
it might be 1080p i'm not sure it uh, it tells you all the japanese um cabs and all the monitors and the input lag on them they're all really good on input lag the 1080p ones in the Vulix, uh, I think they're one or two milliseconds input response on them, and the the um, the other ones are nine milliseconds, which is fantastic as well. So basically, it's just a score attack. Okay. So what's this? Zero Master Striker. Either. Yeah, that's cool, though, isn't it? Yeah, the the ten eighty p ones have got less. It's like two milliseconds, but the uh, the other ones are like half a frame. That's literally nothing. Ah, oh, this don't work properly. That's pretty amazing for a monitor that's the, you know it's essentially like 14 years old or whatever that it literally just got it's got less less than a frame of it but like um, trying to pick up something else is good flanks doesn't work unfortunately that version the super version yeah it's really good that it's like um no it, had to, it, had to, it came with um a new um remote you know a new um circuit board the one like the one that comes with the monitor the, the old monitor doesn't work on it if you if you get one, you have a new remote anyway. Yeah, so that don't work. It's pretty much the same controls. It was just a different uh, a different circuit board essentially. It wouldn't quite fit either uh, what the screws are, so I had to slightly bend the screws one way, and if, if I fit it perfectly, and then out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bother changing the monitor out unless you really have to either. At, le at least you know that if you do sometime down the line get a problem with the monitor, you, you can change it out for a PC monitor. that options there like in there you know like your cab's dead or whatever I wouldn't put a 4K one in there, mind. If you're going to play any old games or whatever, or use a Mister or something, it just it just going to look like crap on 4K monitor. Well, it'll probably not look like crap, but you're going to be better off with a lower resolution one. That's the one thing about the original monitor. I would say that using the Mister on the original monitor, it, it does look a little bit nicer. I think the lower resolution. Games look look a little bit nicer on it, more like they originally should be, if you know what I mean. I should have stayed in the middle of there, then, shouldn't I? Yeah. 
if you take the screen off after and try and clean it. Because uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, that that sort of that look is tends to be like a dust gets underneath the glass on the opposite side. I can't remember if you said you managed to take it. You took the glass off it. I know it's like half a million screws to get the glass off, right? But. I've heard a lot of people say, like, because uh, in smoky Japanese arcades, the smoke dust gets underneath the glass on the other side. I don't know whether using the bombs for the power-ups is worth it for points-wise and times-wise. Um, when I bought mine, before I bought it, I started looking up a lot of Vulix stuff, and uh, there was a lot of people saying that, that uh, they just take the glass off and clean the, ba the back side of the glass. Plus, uh, a lot of people saying that if you look on a white screen, and if you've got like blotches on one side of the screen, it's usually dust on the, on the uh, back of the glass. If you go on some of the arcade forums, they say that as well. Like arcade projects. Like you may, you may just have a slightly yellowish monitor, which can also happen apparently. They have been on continuously for, you know, years or whatever. Might be worth a look at if you've got like, you know, an afternoon, take it out, open it up, take a monitor out and clean the glass on the other side. I've got a scratch in the glass here. Yeah, maybe not, because the outside of those monitors has got like an anti glare thing, haven't they? So like if I if I look at the lights uh, on my ceiling, they look exactly like they look like when they're cataracts. <laughs> Basically <laughs> all sort of misty around them. But when it's on you may not even see it. Ah, you, you did take yours off to no dust, okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Like, it's, it's been on for like probably 10 years, haven't it? So, not, they're not going to be perfect anyway, but it's amazing they last so, you know, last so long. It's a Panasonic panel, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a sandwich panel of mine, which is probably the same one you got. It's, it's probably exactly the same ones you got in yours, Bean. Um, let's have a go something that's not actually a Star Lester. Um, let's have a go with Solfies again, actually. Yeah, if you have, if you have a look on, like I say, have a look on the EXA web page. There's a section there, and they've they've tested all the monitors, and they they list all the Japanese cabs and everything they tested on them.
It might be him. Yeah. <laughs> you had a nice chat with him on the phone as well, didn't you, Bean? <laughs> well, he's got an arcade, be. Can't do anything. Okay, call's crashed. Try again. Yeah, it's a long way for you as well, wouldn't it? To go up here. Well, yeah, it was worth it, didn't Bean? You got your nice car back to it. There is that. He's had that uh, one Vulix with so the, the do upper Vulix he's got there for like 800 quid with a weird panel on it. I've seen pictures of them in Japan. They use like Black City panels on them. It looks pretty rough that Vulix does all. You can't get the midi audio on this. This is nicer looking than the Mega CD one as well. Yeah, I nearly bought mine off um, him as well, to be honest. I was just lucky to find one on a forum.
the um, Mega Drive cartridge version of this is good as well. It's literally exactly the same as the bloody um, the actual uh, CD version. Actually, it's just CD version that's got CD music. I think there might be some slight different colours. Oh, I don't like having that one guy beer because he you end up you end up dying to him. thing about Mo, he delivers fast as well, doesn't he? Where uh, I had to wait literally a month. Probably should have done was paid the extra like eighty quid or whatever and just rent the van and got a good went and got it myself. Ah you go, so did a new bit of time and effort. Said somebody dropped coke in there, so uh, at least it said it looked like. Oh shit! I forgot that's a big weapon. Stay a bit. Oh god, no, I missed the weapon as well, correct? Got it. 
you're going to get the artwork done. Is that um, arcade shop? will probably do a few. I was thinking about getting some artwork for mine, like, but I don't know whether I will or won't. Like, yeah, the move strip. I've seen some nice ones on uh, eBay. They're all from the either Australia or U US. I think the ones from Australia are better quality. It's cool you can uh, customize them like that, though, isn't it? Change the artwork out the weather. I forgot about that. Oh. I should have just stayed where I was. Ah, oh, get that chop, yeah. I'll have another go with that now. I'll just put them stairs a second. I'll be back now in a moment. There they go, that wagon wheel bean. Yeah, I got some stickers off um arcade art shop, which I put on the cab. He do requests as well. I got him to customize me some of the um I wanted hay a hay sticker. But he only had a panel, a move strip. I got him to make me uh, a sticker out with a move strip, but like a smaller one, just with the um just with the uh, logo and everything. <laughs> nice, that's a wee. Nice. No, I swapped mine out. Oh, the Theodo sticker, you mean? No, the ones on the top are the ones I bought from Arcade um, Arcade uh, Art Shop. And the one on the front of the monitor, I bought that one from Spain. Ah, 
mine came with um or I bought another red sticker to put on it, the hundred yen one. And um because mine came with uh, three hundred yen for um sorry, is it three hundred yen? No, it could have been two hundred yen for three goals. And I thought it had a really thick sticker, so when I when I went to get it off to put the hundred yen one, the original hundred yen sticker was underneath that one, so I just peeled it off. Yeah, the Monta one, it just says Teato on it. Yeah, I had to get them from um, Spain. There was a the, the guy in Spain did them. Can't, it didn't cost me much, I don't think. Came with four of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, crashed. You can get all the original stickers as well, can't you? People do sheets of them, all the original sort of warnings and stuff, but I think you might have still got them all on. Yeah, it was hidden underneath the sticker. <laughs> So I've got a brand new 100 yen one floating around to somewhere as well. It's quite cool nowadays, isn't it? All these um, art places will do stickers and various other things. Like I got a uh, sign writing shop to do me um, the move strip, which I got in mine, I, got, I didn't do me four of them. And they, they're not on paper either, they're on uh, like, um, it's not mylar, it's like a thicker plastic. Like mylar, but thicker. I found a website with a load of move lists, uh, move strips for um, Astro City uh, cabs. So I just I just edited them basically and got them uh, set up so you could fit them in the Vulix. They were I did I did make them a tad too big, but it was perfect. So I, I literally just had to cut off like I think it was like about two or three mil on each side. And they fit perfect. He does charge a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, the ashtrays are getting tricky to get, if you want to put your coins in one. We've got that French guy that sells them, but unfortunately he won't sell them to the UK. So, I had to import mine from Australia. And it probably is the one from the French guy as well. It makes me laugh. I had a Mikado one, which I used to keep my pen drives and stuff in. It 
Sometimes you're lucky you'll find them on a forum. I had a message up on a couple of forums for quite a while and um, no one answered them. So I think they're getting a bit ready to get older. Unless you live in France, of course, and you can just get as many as you want. Yellow is the double, and blue is the laser. Oh god, that was super lucky then. Come on, come back over here. Yeah, there was double in it. Laser kicks ass and in though. Oh no! Yeah, I thought I got through that then. Maybe I get an AliExpress. I wonder what they like. well on the levels last time and crappy on the bosses but now it's the opposite. They'd ask that French guy as well whether he would do like a group buy, and he wasn't interested. This he said he would, but then he ignored my emails.
Oh, I thought I'd get away with that then. Oh, I lost a lot of lasers. I wanted the blue Tato one initially, but I think the black one goes better for the cab, but I, th I think for yours, blue Tato one look it'd be mint. any power-ups to this level, do you. Tell you what, there's loads of shmups that do a very similar boss to this. I was about an eBay, eh? Nice. Probably a red one would go nice in this cab as well. Great. Enemies behind me. Okay, this one's going down a little fast. Oh, stop being erratic. Ah! Oh, I love never got that now. 25 euros. So your coin mech MB is not... Is it working at all or... We tried it? Yeah, I got a red one, probably got quite nice with this cab actually. 
might look in again when they're maybe at one some point. <sighs> It does work, eh? You can use the coin back. You just have to wire the uh, wire up to basically the credits on the uh, brook. If you want to use the coin back, it's crashes after one go. It's only a micro switch essentially. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much you can displace the cable. The coin mech essentially it's just a micro switch, isn't it? It's just as a normal button. Splice the cable and that, that would that would work as well. That's probably the best way of doing it, actually. Don't have to alter anything then, do you? So, it does crash, but once you get into game, it's fine. You'd have to have plenty of uh, 100 yen coins on the side then to use. Get in 100 yen coins is a bit of a pain, yes. I'd like a few more myself, but picking them up is tricky. Sometimes you get people on eBay that sell them in batches for a reasonable price, and then you get some, some nut in and try and charge you like £10 a coin. Yeah, the volume knob is... Uh, that is uh, a must, I reckon. Yes. I definitely give some cash for them if you uh, if you fancy uh, bringing some back. I did bring some back of me when I went, but uh, I ended up sticking to my joysticks. Put in 100 yen, uh, insert 100 yen, put play stickers on them, and then uh, weld in the bloody coins to the sticks. Because I'm a nutter. Probably should have continued actually this to get some practice on our level. You should be able to finish this on the um, Sega CD. On the old Mega CD, like. Yeah, if you're going to use the coin mech, you're probably going to need a few of them. Otherwise, you're going to have to keep sort of going into the bottom of the cab to get them out. At least enough for a night's play, like if you know what I mean. Yeah, 
I've never actually used mine, to be honest. It's more authentic if you use the coins, I suppose. I just had a panel made in the end with a coin button on it. I got that set up to the uh, select button on the uh, brook, basically. that power up and whether to pick it up or not. Pink ones are one is the bombs. kill him. Otherwise he's still hanging around. Potentially going to make my life hell. Oh, I shouldn't have got that. Kept the bomb. Hey, John Zini, how's it going? This is uh, Solfees, or Soldis on the Mega Drive, but it's just the, it's the original Sharp version. It's a pretty nice uh, shoot map. It was on the Mega CD as well. Oh, that's where all that in. Ah, right, okay, I go. It's hard to read chat sometimes when you're playing, it's tricky. The glance in it. Bombs are gonna blow you up or not. Ah, missile's got me in, didn't he? Shit. I'm in trouble now. Yep. Ah, you end up dying quick on this game. Definitely go wrong pretty damn quick.
Piece of his nice to me on the uh, body players. Maybe you don't get any power ups this level. Great, this. I'm not entirely sure how big his hitbox is. Try and get that laser. I'm in trouble, aren't I? story and then I think I'll call it a night so I'm getting tired my eyes are tired as well oh. that was fun I'll have to come back there okay didn't take a coin newest New Zealand oh you're off you buddy no worries mate no worries I'll catch you in the catch you in a week as normal take care have a good one yeah, and on my eyes again, tired. I'm sort of blinking a lot now as well. <sighs> See if we can get a run on this. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Try and get a one, TC. We should try. It worked last night, so... Hopefully I don't mess it up and remember where to go. You could do the other warps to get to this bit. Is this our last level? Is that's that's the hardest bit of this game? The last level is solid. Really tricky platforming on the last level. Uh, 
turn that on. So you definitely need the um, fortify for this bit. You ain't doing it otherwise. You'd have to take a different route. A bit awkward, really. Uh, yes, it does. The other ROM sets are all new with the other ones. I prefer this level set though, the original one. This is the one I always knew back in the day in the arcade. But yeah, the other the other level sets are on you as well. I should try the um, the second set. I don't know where all the warps and stuff are in that one, so that could be fun. Say the second set is the one that was on the Mega Drive when I had it. Yeah, I think the original set is the best. Probably just because that's the one I was used to. Yeah, I remember finishing the Meg Drive one when I added like, and I was, I was getting like, so for that, what the hell was it different? Obviously, at the time, I didn't understand it was an alternative arcade set. I just thought they messed with the game. But it is the arcade one, it's just the alternative set of levels. Send as well. At least they do that every time. Extend. Yeah, 
Yeah, I did melt up Oscar, please, didn't I? <laughs> This one, yeah, it is. Don't want the speed. Make it really awkward with the speed. If I stay here, I can use here and then get on it. Whew. Okay. Doing well so far. dodgy skimming them but they do follow you across <sighs> right here we go in okay he was kind to that then dead Right, first death. Second death. Well, that went all be wrong, didn't it? Last life to do it. It's the hardest bit, basically. Oh, I'm glad you did that. That is literally the hardest bit. Come on, a good shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah! No. Let's try again. Oh, 
<laughs> you don't want to do it? Ah, uh, so close, but yet so far. Couldn't get him to shoot me. Yep, nearly. Might give it one last try to get up here. It's this, this second section of jumping is, is the worst. It's, it's solid. I can't. I can't explain how slippery it actually is. See, I keep thinking you haven't got a hold. Like, you haven't got a hold um, to the one side, but you have on that jump. I'm getting way better at doing this bit, mind. jump. It's not gonna happen I don't think. You should try this level out for yourselves. It's crazy hard. As soon as you get momentum on these platforms that's it, you you're out you're out of it, you've gotta do something. What did it be then? Interesting. Did you get the heaven from this level? One last go. At least you didn't know you could get in the heaven off this level. It must depend where you are. I 
didn't wait for it to stop sliding. Okay, now they're not playing fair. I got right the way there as well. I'll have to continue. She wanted to do. You did. <laughs> it's not happening now, is it? Oh man. That's it. I got it. You just let go of it slightly as he fires the arrow and it drops you down enough to get killed and jump, go through it. Oh, okay. Right, at least you know that's a little bit of a trick to it then. It's literally by two fires and then let go. Well, I've learned something, even though I was dying loads. Do, do, do. You could do that level properly, but uh, if I remember rightly, it's really big. And it's really hard. Do, 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 do. It's a fun game, Mr. So I like it. Kazutoma. Utsaki. Utsuki. I never heard that name before. Do -do -do -do. I've had a bit of fun with this course since they've uh, they did it. But then, um, yeah, if you do the alternate set, there's two alternate sets on you actually. You got this one. So you got this set, it's the one that's basically on the Mega Drive. This is like a harder set, this is more of a platform game in it basically. Yeah, so you got the you got that set, which is like the one on the Mega Drive, and you also got this one which is Stupidly hard. I didn't realise there was. I don't know whether this is an official thing. It looks like it. But... It's like a super hard version of a complete new levels again. I don't know how many levels are on your mind, so I haven't got all the way through it. It's like the expert mode. How do we even get to that thing? So this must be like a, a super expert version. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe I should play this version.
I don't want to know how hard the uh, the ice level probably is. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe I should play this uh, this version so far. I can get it just for the end of it. Right. Anyway, guys, that's me done. Appreciate everyone jumping in on the chat and stuff. Hope your um, power supply turns up pretty soon for your um, Vulex you get playing it. Hopefully, if they got them in stock, you'll probably get it by about Tuesday or Wednesday. At least you can play it then. Yep, no worries, guys. Thanks for that. And, uh, well, have a good week. And I'll be back probably on Thursday, as normal, I reckon. No worries. Right. Take care all. And I shall uh, catch you on Thursday, probably. Right, here we go. Right, night all. Ta-da!